Is it true that Elon's original plan for the Boring Company was to drill underground tunnels on Mars? Imagine humans being trapped in a city-like tunnel on Mars. If the tunnel is thought to be a way for humanity to be shielded from Mars's toxic atmosphere, it will be a good idea and Mars will finally become Earth 2.0, a world where humans can thrive and reproduce, just like Earth. But could SpaceX provide everything necessary for humans to live long on Mars? Elon Musk is trying to convince us that we can freely colonize Mars if all the human needs are constructed on that planet. Stick around to find out if the Boring Company will be used as the tunnel construction company to drill a massive city inside Mars's planet. Remember that Mars is not like Earth. The Martian atmosphere is fragile and lacks sufficient oxygen for people to breathe. In fact, humans on Mars must either rely on an oxygen tank, which is relatively heavy, or utilize a tunnel, which may necessitate the building of an underground city on Mars. Not only that, but another dreadful factor is Mars's radiation energy. Radiation from the sun is dangerous. Fortunately, the magnetic field of our planet protects humanity here on Earth. Unfortunately, Mars lacks the same magnetic field like Earth. We have a magnetic field on Earth to protect us from solar flares, a thick atmosphere to absorb cosmic radiation, and a thin ozone layer to shield us from UV radiation. Because Mars lacks these natural safeguards, both explorers and colonists would face a significant rise in cancer risks. Going underground is one surefire way to keep us safe on Mars. SpaceX can protect the colonists from these consequences by using artificial tunnels or lava tubes. Surface EVAs will still expose them, but sporadic shot exposure is preferable to swimming in it for 24 hours and 39 minutes every day. Elon Musk had to consider these problems before sending the first humans to Mars, and thankfully, the Boring Company has a solution. To build a big city on Mars, Elon Musk's Boring Company will have to step in and do what they do best. That is, the process of boring a tunnel beneath the surface of the planet. But more importantly, did Elon Musk launch the Boring Company to later employ its technology to construct a city tunnel on Mars? Let me briefly elaborate on a significant idea to answer this question. Starting with what everyone is familiar with, why did Elon Musk start the Boring Company? Elon Musk was trying to get from a SpaceX facility to a Tesla plant in Fremont, California one day, and he was trapped in LA traffic for a very long period, and he pondered whether it wouldn't be faster to go where he wanted to go by driving via a tunnel and avoiding all the delay. From here, he nursed the thought of creating a company that would bore tunnel underground and took the necessary steps to develop the company. His goal was to build a 3D tunneling network to relieve traffic congestion on our highways. And it sounds very similar to the Boring Company's goal, which is to cut tunnel costs by approximately 18 to 20 times. By reducing the tunnel's diameter, making changes to machinery is one way to do so. This was revealed in Elon's TED lecture titled, The Future We're Building is Boring. So he did some research, figured out how to accomplish it, and launched the Boring Company. The company's objective is to tunnel beneath America's megacities to address the world's traffic problems. A network of massive tunnels could hypothetically reduce traffic congestion on all of America's highways. So the answer to the question is that Elon never intended to send the Boring Company to Mars, instead to bore tunnels through Earth for cars, monorails and Hyperloop to run through. But now that the need demand for boring tunnels on Mars, he'll have no option but to relocate the Boring Company to Mars to commence work. Apart from high-tech subways, the Boring Company's innovations have practical applications that can be implemented on Mars. However, even a tiny tunnel boring equipment is a very heavy and a lengthy machine. The most pressing concern is how Elon Musk and SpaceX intend to transport this massive equipment to Mars. Elon Musk may tell us how later, but let's get a near answer for now. The rock drilling devices, of course, do not need to be transported straight from Earth to Mars. Instead, the company might transport them to the moon in bits, assemble there, and then ship them to Mars. NASA also has plans for future missions to assemble a massive lunar colony. Consider this, on Earth, just the first boring and mining machinery must be assembled. Once one underground factory has been established, all subsequent ones can be made directly from Mars. 
Also, the plants and understanding of how specific materials respond in certain environments matter. Another major consideration for SpaceX is whether the diesel fuel used to power the big drilling machine will be refined on Mars or if it will be continued to be imported from Earth as work progresses. This is a question that Elon Musk himself has to answer. Once on Mars' surface, they'll need to dig a trench or lower a drop shaft till they reach the necessary depth. The machine could then keep tunneling for as long as it's capable. So how would the building process progress if the boring machine is successfully brought to Mars and everything goes well? Let's get it straight. SpaceX will require a method of sealing the bored-out tunnel's walls, precast concrete rings or shotcrete and roof bolts or other techniques of wrapping the bare walls are used on Earth. They'll need to be heavily pressurized on Mars with several access points, airlocks and other amenities. Construction in a 1x6 gravity setting isn't a game changer, but it's a difficult nut to crack. It is not played on the same surface. The boring machine we're talking about here will be able to be pushed with tires capable of moving the blade, bucket, scraper or digger ahead in 2% of the Earth's atmosphere. It isn't going to be that simple on Mars. Going underground with a TBM solves many problems and, as soon as the first airlock is installed, the standard Mars colony atmosphere, which will be suitable for humans to survive safely, will be a dream come true. Elon Musk's boring company is developing technologies that might dramatically speed up the construction of a Martian colony. The best part is that digging beneath the Martian surface would protect residents from dangerous radiation from the sun. We'll never know whether Elon Musk and SpaceX's proposal to populate Mars involves excavating an underground settlement, at least not until we get there. However, conjecture leads us to assume that this concept could be viable. However, until then, the only time we'll see the boring company in action will be on our planet. But how would life underground affect people's minds? Because it's been psychologically proven that if humans spend up to 90 days in an enclosed environment, it may affect their mental health. Does anyone have any information on this? Is it possible to labor above ground to help with this? Would we put fake windows on the tops of lava tubes that broadcast surface sections only to get people to look at them? Everything Musk undertakes, in my opinion, aims to achieve his objective of establishing a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. Boring machines on Mars might be beneficial for transportation, homes and mining, among other things. A boring machine weighs 1200 tons, implying that a boring machine on Mars would be built from Earth-supplied components. This may suffice for the first several boring machines, but it is inefficient. There is a different and essential path to self-sufficiency on Mars. Elon Musk and SpaceX don't need to send equipment because they created it themselves. You've probably heard that Tesla's Giga plants are the Tesla product. With ever-increasing vertical integration, the Tesla plants are flooded with resources from one end and goods from the other. On Mars, how would you be able to accomplish this? The Tesla bot will be the answer, as it will be able to work on Mars' surface without using a pressure suit. Musk will launch trips to Mars between 2024 and 2026 at the very least, with Tesla bots and equipment on board to kickstart the Sabatia process. There will be no return journey with a Starship until the Sabatia procedure is developed on Mars. We'll need the same infrastructure on Mars as we have here on Earth to support a vast, sustainable population. This includes mining, smelting and processing metals and other raw materials. Then all we have to do is supply the blueprints for the machines used to construct the new universe. We'll also need a lot of electrical energy for everything and guess it'll come from modest nuclear reactors rather than solar panels. Will SpaceX relocate the boring company to Mars? We certainly don't know. But you can check how the first year in the Mars colony will be like. Just click on this video.